<sighs> All right. Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. I have a video that I wanted to make for the past six months, but I've been avoiding it. Uh, but I couldn't get it out of my head. So I want to give you a wee story that I had with Adobe. Uh, that I want to share with you. But before I get into that, I do want to mention that I just released my new Discord channel and it's popping. So if you want to check it out, it's in the description down below. And I also made a specific server for it for the new upcoming full stack React course that I'm going to be releasing probably in the next week. So that's really exciting. Uh, it's been fully re-updated from scratch. I know a lot of people complain about it, that it's broken now. And to be fair, hindsight's 2020. Uh, the tech that was used uh, was a bit wonky and it's out of date as well. So I just marked everything on the page as deprecated now. And next week it'll be all available with Next13 and all that good jazz. We're going to be using the latest technologies with the uh, app directory as well. So I'm really excited for that. We're going to be building up a full e-commerce website with Stripe elements that it's integrated as well on our page rather than like redirecting to Stripe. Uh, it's just going to be absolutely fantastic. So I'm really happy for that and I appreciate your support and your patience as well. And again, the course is going to be free if you already purchased it. But if you want to get it now, I'll, I mean, I'm not going to stop you. I'll really appreciate the support. So uh, that's going to be in the description as well if you want to purchase it. And yeah, let's talk about the damn video, shall we? <laughs> All right, so let's talk about Adobe products. So I've been an Adobe user for probably the past 15 years or so, and I owned a legit serial key um, subscription. And uh, I've been on and off their products, especially in the last couple of years, because I felt like there's loads of new tools out in the market. Um, and I like to keep an open mind. I like to experiment with different tools. I don't know if that's coming from me as a, because I'm in the web dev industry, so new tools pop up all the time and I try to find the best use case for each of them. And that's the way I like to look at it. I don't like to pick one tool and then, you know, just kind of close myself off everything else uh, because I don't think that's the right way to approach it, especially in the tech field and the arts art field, design field, uh, we always want to move forward and expand. And for that, I feel like new tools and new innovation is very important. So I'd like to keep an open mind to everything. So the story starts when I made a video about a year ago discussing some alternative tools out there uh, to Adobe products because I started using them and I really enjoy them. So for like Photoshop and Illustrator, I started using the Affinity products. And then for video editing, I started using DaVinci Resolve because I just find that a better tool. I had loads of problems with Premiere Pro and it was unstable and I had crashes and loads of times I just ended up wasting more time than actually being productive. I'm ejecting you, you're ejected too. Everyone's oh yeah? ejected. She's ejected? Yeah. yeah! And DaVinci solved that issue for me. Same for Final Cut Pro. They're both great tools. And I'm not saying that Premiere Pro is not a great tool. The features in there are absolutely insane. And their AI that they have as well is fantastic. And the ecosystem is large. But my experience hasn't been that great with it. And uh, for my own productivity, I just found it slower. So it was just a video discussing um, all of these different tools. But I wasn't necessarily saying, oh, don't buy Adobe, Adobe sucks, or any of that sort of jazz. If that's the tool that works for you, that's fantastic. The problem lies is when my video got copyright striked and Adobe wanted me to remove the video because it started getting more traction and views. And the most, most of the comments actually ended up quite agreeing with me and related to all the frustrations that I've experienced with these products. And honestly, I wasn't even upset about the situation. I was more disappointed that that was your first line of action is to copyright and strike down the video uh, rather than taking the actual feedback and trying to improve the products. And you guys left loads of good uh, feedback as well in the comments of certain bugs in Photoshop and certain um, uh, things that could push the products uh, forward. So unfortunately, the story ends quite abruptly. I ended up fighting the copyright claim with, via YouTube, but YouTube rejected it saying, that Adobe was in the right. So, but at the end of the day, I'm really grateful and happy that there's these new tools out there that just breath a lot of fresh air uh, into the creative field like Blender and Affinity and DaVinci Resolve, just giving people that alternative uh, tool uh, to get started in the creative field, especially Blender. Blender has been out there for 10 years, but 
you see loads of people start starting to move to it uh, just because the community feels so passionate about it. Uh, so that's just so fantastic to see, especially with DaVinci Resolve as well. There's so much about it and they really listen to their community members and try to implement all the latest features. I don't even want to get into the pricing because this is free, this is a one-time payment, this is a one-time payment, and this is just, I mean, come on, come on, man. So even if we look in the UI department of building out user interfaces, I just find it quite funny to see that, you know, there's a tool like Figma popping up that's really cool and they're really innovating the way we build out our user interfaces because previously to that, we use mostly Photoshop to create our website designs. And then all of a sudden, then we get to see Adobe XD pop up and then finally the acquisition as well. So, so thank you so much for watching this episode. Please write down in the comments uh, your experience with the Adobe products and maybe some other tools out there that you found awesome and you want to share with the community. Uh, just the story that I shared with you today reminded me a little bit about the Adobe uh, buying the Figma, so their acquisition with Figma. And I just thought it was a bit funny. So at the end of the day, why try to make a better product when you can just buy out the competition? Take care, nerds. I don't mind the products. Adobe products are great. They are very future, future, feature packed, and they can get the job done, obviously. Again, I wouldn't have any issues with a subscription based model as long as you can offer multiple choices to people. Adobe Illustrator, which was made right around the corner where Rome conquered the Vikings. Is that not a thing? My, my geography teacher used to get high. I think about certain things, yes, Adobe Illustrator is more feature packed than designer. You have certain tools that are just not available yet. Next up, Adobe XD versus Figma. This is, I don't care about this one. Ligma is the same as Adobe XD. Stop searching for comparisons on the internet. Go sleep. Content aware removal. Maybe you wanna remove a person or something from your image. There's much more data that you can give to Photoshop. Photo Why do I keep wanting to say Photoshop? Photoshop, okay. Photoshop, for example, I can mark uh, the person that I wanna delete from my image, but I can also give data to Photoshop to basically what part of the image to use uh, to replace that person with. Whereas in Affinity Photo, you don't really have that option. You just kind of delete it and hope for the best today. And the big issue here is that Adobe just does not offer a video centric package. Why don't you create a package with Premiere, After Effects and Audition? That would be lovely for like 20 bucks or 25, whatever. Just throw me a price and that would be great. But no, we only get Lightroom and Photoshop. Other than that, just get all the apps. But what if I don't need all the apps? Have you ever thought about that, Adobe? Let's actually put this to the test. Can I turn myself into some birds using DaVinci?